Hello everybody, this is Toby here. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a duct tape wallet. As you can see, I have two here. This one doesn't latch, but still, still works. It has the um, bill pocket right here, and then the coin pocket right here, and an extra bill pocket right here in case, just in case emergency. And this one right here has a camouflage background, I mean backside, and a and a latch. Here's the latch. A dang it. All my bills. There's the bill pocket, and here's the coin pocket. I'm gonna latch that back up. And, um, one second. Oh, that never mind, never mind. So, I was, can you see everything from there? Yep. Okay. So, I'm going to show you how to make a duct tape wallet. So, all you need is a duct tape of choice. I'm going to use a, um, deal with it. That says deal with it. Can't really see it, but it says it says that. And a pair of scissors. So first you need to get a strip of duct tape about um, ten inches long, maybe seven. cut it off and you can see it's about you can see it right there you lay it down with the sticky side up you might be able to see that I think you can and then take another uh, one another one that's like about an inch longer than the one you just just took and cut that one and then lay it across the top. Either that or you can get one, get one right there. And as you can see, it's kind of like that on both sides. And I didn't get mine long enough, so I'm gonna have to do another one. Another small piece right here, right here. And that is basically the first step to make a duct tape wallet. So you, so you take the both sticky ends up like that, like that, and fold it in half like that. <laughs> Dang it! Don't mess up. It's bad. No! Oh, did I just rip duct tape? Wow! I just ripped duct tape. That's cool. <gasps> And fold it over if you have extra, and like that. I don't like to swim there because everyone from the gym. And you have a little hole right there, and this is your handle for your wallet. Right here is the handle, the thing that I'm bending. This thing, and you have your little um hole for your money, and then you need to take a. A thin, a, a not long strip, like that, and divide it in thirds, well, fold it in thirds. And then you need to take a strip the same length. <laughs> Sorry. So, about like that. Like that. So you have it like that. You don't cut it off yet. You take this piece and put it in the center of of that piece. Dang it. 
You put it in the center of that piece, like that, and then you cut it off at the bottom of that piece. And there you go. Like it should look like that. It should look about like that. And then you take your this. And this is gonna get kind of hard to do with the camera right on the chair, like that. And so you so take that hole and kind of cover it up like that. Maynard, you need to finish your list. Uh, one second. And it should kind of look like that, and that will be your bills pocket, your pocket for all your um, um, paper money. And now we're, we're about to make the the pocket for your um, metal money. <laughs> Mm. And then, okay, so so you take a piece of duct tape. Take, dang it! Take a piece of duct tape. Um, about maybe two and a half inches long, two and a half inches long, and then take a piece that's like, well, half that, so one and a quarter inches long, or a little longer than that. So you have these two pieces. You, okay. We're setting that aside from here for now. So you take the sticky part of this piece. You take the the two and a half inch ding. How did that get stuck? So, okay. So you do that and then take this piece, the shorter one, and lay it across the center. Like that. And then you take this, you take this, let it so this part is on, is um, facing downwards, and then you take this part, this side, and stick it on this. And stick it on this, like that. And a, oh dang it, never mind that, don't do that, do not do that. I have to take this off. Dang. Dang it. And well, first you need to do this. So you take this. Oh, take take another piece of duct tape. Um a, about an inch long. And divide it in thirds. Well, fold it in thirds. So it makes a loop. A sticky loop. So you take this and put it at the bottom of this. Like that. So it should kind of look like that. And then you take another piece of duct tape. <laughs> it's getting confusing. Too much pressure. About a centimeter long. So it should look like that. And take, and dang it. And this one you need to divide in. So, watch this. This is gonna be kinda hard to watch. <coughs> so, you fold it in like that. So it looks like that, and do that on the other side. I've never thought about origami mixed in with duct tape. It's an odd combination. And so you take th but this piece and this piece and do this. Like that. And then you take this and take this piece, take the stick, the part with the sticky and put it right so remember, you have to take this. You have to put the the clo the closed part on the bottom. Take take so take it so the sticky parts on the bottom of this, and 
plop it down right there. And there you go. Almost. Take it. Almost. Okay, so you, you unfold, you take off this part. So you kind of have it like that. Um, one sec. So you take a piece about a centimeter long, another piece about a centimeter long, and and then cut off a small piece of the end. And take that small piece that you cut off the end and put it in the center of the excess. Like that. And then, so take this, so you have it like that. So you take this part and put the bottom sticky right there. And then, this is kind of where it gets confusing. So you have it like this. You fold this part over. Well, you, first you fold this part over. Like that. It should look like that. And then you fold this part over. There, like that. Now it should kind of look like that on the inside. Take a piece of duct tape and basically cover up all the sticky stuff that's on the inside. And after you've got that, cut all the sticky stuff covered up on the inside. You just tape it shut like that. And there you've got your coin pocket. I personally take one about an inch and a half long. Close that. But put your thumb in there so there's a little bit of room. Like that. And um, you can figure out how to make a latch on your own. That's that's all for now, folks. Bye.